slicing is by far the most common mistake that average golfers make. This is generally a result of swinging the golf club from outside to in. This drill will stop the right shoulder from turning too soon, which pushes the club to the outside and across the golf ball in the downswing. The first thing you have to do when you go out to the practice facility is take a lot of practice swings with this drill before you start hitting balls. This is what you do. You address the golf ball in your normal position. Just when you're ready to take the golf club back, I want you to lift your right foot up and put it behind you. Now, I'm going to explain to you why this will help you stop slicing it and get the golf club on plane. When you take your normal downswing, those of you that swing the right shoulder around first, the speed of the downswing gets your weight up on your toes. And I'm doing it in slow motion so you can see what you look like. So if you don't start the golf club right back down on plane, but you turn the right shoulder from the top, that sends your weight over to the top of your toes. And as the golf club comes across the golf ball, heading across your body, some of you wind up stepping into it. When you, agree, when you address the golf ball and you're all ready to go, pick your right foot up. Put your toe in the ground behind your left heel, not directly behind it, but back behind it. Now from here, take a normal golf swing. Now, let me explain to you why this works. When you address the golf ball with your right heel up in the air, you cannot move into it from the top. If you did, you'd fall over. or you can't reverse pivot from here either because you'll tumble behind it. Second part of this drill, when you swing the golf club up top, if you don't straighten out the right arm in the downswing, you're never going to find the correct path. Watch. From the top of the backswing, if I simply straighten out my right arm, the golf club will stay on the correct path. The reason that I have you do this toe drill is because this will help you straighten out the right arm in the downswing. You have to think about it. You have to be consciously aware of it a number of times. So when you get ready to hit the golf ball, you turn and then you straighten out the right arm in the downswing. Here it is again. Full turn, straighten out the right arm. If you do that, the combination of the toe in the ground, straightening out the right arm, that will keep the right shoulder back, keep you on plane, and you'll be able to release the golf club.